I don't know what you think about the mission field, but some people think raising your children on the mission field might be a terrible, terrible hardship. I want you to know that wherever you're serving the Lord and God blesses you with children, God assigned responsibilities don't ever really conflict. It's not only best for you, it's best for them. My two boys grew up in a preacher's home. I've been a preacher of the gospel since I was 18 years old. That means all of my adult life, all of my married life, I've been a preacher. And uh, I tried to help my children understand that it was a privilege to grow up in a preacher's home. I'm going to ask a young man who grew up on the mission field to come and share his personal testimony. And while he's doing this, I want you to think, if God calls you, he'll provide all you need. God will take care of you. He'll take care of your children. The place for them is a place God has chosen and rejoice in it. I'm going to ask Daniel Goodman to come. He grew up in Mexico, but I'm going to let him tell his story. I just want you to hear it. God bless you, Daniel. My name is Daniel Goodman. I had the privilege and the opportunity to grow up in Mexico as a missionary's kid. And uh, um, I went down to the mission field with my parents when I was just two years old. And all my life, I grew up in, in that foreign place. And to me, it was not foreign. And uh, I, I want to say, first of all, that, that I look at it as an opportunity, uh, as a privilege that God gave me. And it's something that I'm thankful to God for. It's not anything I have regrets about. I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. And my parents were led by the Lord to go to, me to Mexico. And they had to learn the language. They had to learn a culture. But uh, as, as, their, as their young son, I got a lot of it just naturally. I learned the language. And uh, if you had told me that I was any different from anyone else, I wouldn't have known any better. Uh, to, to me, my, my life was completely normal, completely but, but special because my parents were serving the Lord. And I'd like to tell you, I guess, about growing up on the mission field that the Christian life on the mission field is lived the same as the Christian life in the place where you're from. It requires faith. And the unique thing about the mission field is that you get to see God work in a very personal way in your life. And I'm blessed by the fact that I have parents that surrendered their lives to go to the mission field. And they've given their, their whole adult lives as, as missionaries serving the Lord. And that, to me, I, I, I can tell you, from seeing their genuine walk with the Lord and seeing their influence, I, I can tell you the most worthwhile thing that my parents could have ever done with their lives is the thing that they have done and are doing still. And... Um, as a, young, as a young boy, I got saved. I came to know the Lord as my Savior just before I turned five years old. And then, as the Lord worked in my life, seeing my parents uh, serve the Lord, it gave me the desire also to serve the Lord with my life. And so, as a young teenager, I surrendered my life to preach the gospel. I surrendered uh, to serve the Lord. And in many regards, it was because... I knew, I knew that my parents had served the Lord. I wanted what they, what they had, a personal relationship with God. They had the hand of God on their lives. And I could tell you so many stories about things that God did for my family when we had great needs. We had great needs and, and we were far removed from family and, and friends, but the Lord was with us. And the Lord's presence with us in the place to which he had called us was all we needed. And we could come to the Lord together as a family and come to him in prayer. And seeing God's work in our life, it united us as a family. 
We have friends that uh, uh, friends of our families that referred to us not as missionary kids, but as kid missionaries. And I was very thankful for that because in, in a very real way, I got to take part in the ministry. And ever since I can remember, I, I was able to help my, my dad usher in the church or, or go to a VBS or take part in things that otherwise I, I wouldn't have had a part in. And God has worked in my life in, in a great way to come to know him personally through, through my parents and the place that God sent them. So that, that is the most wonderful thing that you can do with your life is to go to the place of God's choosing. And your family and your kids, all of them, to see the life of faith in you, to see what God can do, it's the greatest thing. Many people ask me about Mexico when, when we're speaking about uh, my experiences growing up. They ask, isn't Mexico a dangerous place? And often the news here in the United States about Mexico is not positive about violence and, and the drug trade. But I'll tell you that the most safe place is in the center of God's will. And the Lord worked in, uh, I could tell you stories about times that we were in danger and the Lord, the Lord worked to deliver us. Uh, one time coming back from the border, my family was stopped by, by a drug cartel and um, it was a very surreal moment. All my siblings and I were sitting in the back of the van and the men were, were dealing with my parents and the Lord sent at that time a military convoy down that road over 30 vehicles and they couldn't deal with us anymore. They had to send us safely on down the road. And time and time again, God proves himself to those who will give their lives to him. Amen. So I'm thankful for his work in my life on the mission field. Amen. Amen.